Today I have my February favorites and I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's so gloomy and ugly outside so I don't know how this is gonna look. I'm also filming on a new camera so not sure how this is gonna turn out but um, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my favorites and I have to start with the L'Oreal Youth Code, um, the Pore Vanisher. I'm still loving this. I've been using this and if this thing would focus it would be nice. Okay. Um, I absolutely love the packaging. I love that it's a squeeze top. I love the effect that it gives on my pores. I really feel like this has definitely changed the size of my pores. It just gives me like this flawless finish, especially in my pore area that I have problems with. And I tried to do a trial and error thing with my husband and that totally didn't work. Um, he just wasn't consistent enough with it. But I did do like a before and after picture with him of when he first tried it. Um, so the picture on the top I think is him with nothing on and then the bottom is him with just the first time I applied this on him. So I'm going to put insert that picture right now. As you can see by the picture, there's a total difference. So my husband, especially like when he goes to work and stuff, he tries. And I say tries because he swears that he's trying to try to put this on and to help him with his pores because that's one of the main problems that he has with his skin is the pores on his face. So um, he isn't really consistent. He's always forgets. But um, yeah, he really liked it. The first time I applied it on him, he was just like wowed by it. So um, yeah, I've still been really loving this. To me, it's really worth the price and I really see a difference in my skin. Next is a foundation that I've started to pick back up. Um, it's, I think, the longest foundation that I have here in my collection. So I've really been trying to use it up. Right now, I kind of shook it up, so you can't really see how much I've used of it. But I'm probably down to around right here. Um, once everything settles down to the bottom, like you can see that this is pretty, pretty much empty. Um, and it's the MAC Pro Longwear SPF 10, and I'm in the shade NC35. And I know this looks like super dark compared to how I am, but once you blend it out, I don't really like, you know, like put this straight on, like on my face. Once you blend it out, it really does go with my skin tone. I do have yellow undertones to my skin, and I really feel like it really... Um, just covers really nicely. It just gives me a flawless finish and it's really long wearing. So as soon as I run out, I will definitely be repurchasing once I've gotten through a few more foundations. And that's something that I'm really trying to stick to is using up foundations that I have. So, okay. So next is something that I love, 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 love. I've been using this thing like crazy since I bought it. And it is the Palmer's Face Oil. And I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that. But I'm around here. It does come full. And this stuff is just incredible. I will post around here the 10 oils that are in it. And it also has a vitamin C and retinol. And this thing just smells like roses. It's just... I love the smell of it. It's $10. I actually got it for $7 because it had a $2 off coupon. And I just feel like this has completely helped my skin. It has helped my skin tone. It has helped like even brighten my skin more, which is what the vitamin C is supposed to do. And I really feel like it's made a difference in my skincare and I've really been in love with it. So this is definitely going to replace my Josie Argan Oil. It's going to replace the Tarte Mirrored Kuja Oil. This thing is like one of the best finds that I've found as a um, skincare thing from the drugstore. It's absolutely amazing. Um, can you tell I'm in love with it? <laughs> okay, next up is the Benefit Fake Up. I know this is a high-end concealer, but it's so worth it, especially if you're older and you're starting to get wrinkles underneath here. If you're starting to get creasing, this thing is super moisturizing. Um, let me see if it'll focus on here. Like I said, I have this new camera, so I'm trying to work with it. But it has like a moisturizer on the outside, and then it has color on the inside, and it just glides on underneath. It's so buttery and nice. That's what the swatch looks like right there. And um, I just filmed a haul, so you guys can see some other swatches there. But this is what it looks like. It's so brightening. It's so nice. 
and it just moisturizes and doesn't crease or settle in those lines. So I absolutely love that. And then last is, or are, the Milani Rose Blushes. These things are phenomenal. I actually have Coral Cove on today, if you guys can see that there. Um, as you can see, it blends out so nicely. I know that when you swatch it, they're so chalky and they look chalky on your finger, but once you take a brush and blend that sucker out on your on your cheek, you will definitely see that it just looks super nice. It just really is blendable and nice on your skin. And they're super pigmented. They last all freaking day long. I just absolutely love them. And then we have the Milani Baked Matte Blushes. Two of my favorite 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 ones right now. Um, I swear like all five of these blushes I've just been like rotating them and spring is in the air so it's like time for like those bright fun colors so I love these. Um, okay if I could get this open. Um, one is like the pinky baby doll kind of one and this one is more of a dark hot pink reddish and they're super pigmented you do have to have a light hand but once you blend it out it looks really nice usually if I kind of overdo it what I do is take a stippling brush and then just kind of like go over it to kind of soften it out a little bit so it doesn't look as like highly pigmented and that kind of helps diminish the color a little bit so it like just in case like you overdo it okay so that is it for my February favorites. I hope you guys like the camera and hopefully um, next week when I film the sun will be out and the lighting will be even better. But let me know what you guys think. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, bye!